we have a reliable canal system now, we can then say for sure that we have an even more reliable canal system. The St. Lawrence Seaway, which officially opened in June of 1959, is a system of locks, canals, channels, and dams, which raises a ship 600 feet from the Atlantic Ocean to the St. Lawrence River, from Montreal to Lake Ontario, and by way of the Welland Canal to Lake Erie and the Upper Great Lakes. The 26-mile-long Welland Canal, which opened in 1932, is owned by Canada and provides movement around the Niagara Escarpment and Niagara Falls between Lakes Ontario and Erie. The Welland Canal has eight locks, which lift vessels some 325 feet into Lake Erie, and for the first time in 55 years, the Welland is undergoing a major overhaul. The manager of the program is Martin Korsmit. A lot of these structures along the, you know, the Welland are more than 70 years old. Now, some of them are anyway. Yeah. Uh, all of them are uh, older than 55 years. Mm -hmm. and some of them are as old as 70 years, yes. Well, what kind of shape is the Welland Canal in today? Okay. Well, I think considering those facts, you know, that the, that the canal is actually in, in, in good shape. Uh, you know, especially, you know, electrical, mechanical areas, okay. Um, we know we have suffered some distress in, in the concrete uh, because of the freezing and thawing cycles and, 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 the, and the weathering action. And of course, also the materials they used in the early days were not quite as, as good as we're using them today. But in general terms, I think the canal is in good shape, yes. This rehabilitation work will be done uh, throughout the entire 26-mile length of the canal in Mona. Yes, it will be. Um, but most of the work will be at the, at the locks. How long will it take? And how much will it cost? The overall program will, will take seven years, and it'll cost uh, $175 million. I imagine it'll create many jobs over the seven years, how many? Yes, it's, it's estimated to create, like this year, about 400 to 500 jobs, and about twice as much in each of the next years. So we are spending $13.2 million this year. Next year, we'll be spending $25.4 million, and a similar amount the years thereafter. What is the average cost of uh, running the Welland Canal annually? Over the last, uh, uh, say, three or four years, the, the average cost was about $33 million. And about $16 million of that has been spent in maintenance <clears throat> in the last several years. The operation of a canal is, is, is paid for by, by, by a can, of course, and the funds come out of tolls, okay? This, this rehabilitation program is funded by the federal government, $175 million, and it's, it, it's, it, it's not really related to the toll structure. It's a, a separate infusion of funds to do this work. Well, the operation that we're watching right now is uh, we're installing a shoring wall. And at present time, we are drilling in anchors to, uh, to tie back the shoring wall before we can actually excavate the material that those people are standing on top of. As soon as I've installed these anchors, then we can execute that further and proceed with the rest of the excavation down here. And down the line, what kind of activity is going on? Well, the first big piece of equipment there is a, is a, is a drill rig, okay? And we're installing near vertical anchors. Uh, these anchors, okay, are actually installed, they're being re-drilled right now, but will be installed right into rock. And each anchor um, is stressed after it's installed to about 600,000 pounds tension on the anchor. And that's really to provide additional stability to this lock wall. If you go a little bit further, you can see where, in fact, I have already installed those anchors. Okay, and you can see the concrete. See the, the, see the one person there, one man, okay? Mm -hmm. He's smoothing out the top of the concrete. That's just freshly placed concrete down there. And a bit further beyond that, you can see the, uh, the plastic. Well, the concrete already has been poured down there and it's being cured. A bit further down away again, you see the, the black covering on the concrete, but again, the concrete is curing down there. A bit further up, up again, you'll see uh, the bulldozer working its way down the slope. Uh, we are placing the backfill. This is the rock, uh, rock backfill, okay? And the rock has the, it, it'll, it'll drain. So when, when actually, when we have any leakage coming through the wall or when there's the rainwater, it'll just drain right down to the drains which are installed in the bottom of this whole excavation. Will uh, work in the canal affect the ship passage in any way? No, um, it, it will not. The, the, uh, the program is, is meant to, to take place, the construction phase of it anyway, uh, strictly during the non-navigation season, which is the, during January, February, and March of each year. Following the completion of the major overhaul of the well in seven years down the road, uh, what will the major advantages be? Our record with regards to 
down times here because of breakdowns has been very, very good in the past. The only exception being the incident at Lock 7 uh, two years ago. But uh, other than that, we've always you know, had a very high uh, reliability record. And we want to re-establish that. And we want to be sure that we, we will have a, a canal which is available for real traffic for everybody at all times. Yeah.